Hi, I'm Eric Graham. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Polaris Razor or side-by-side -side off road vehicle by installing the Stinger Electronics SPX-M1 Power Sports and Marine Media Player. Today we have this 2021 Razor XP 1000. This is the High Lifter Edition, so this has an insane ground clearance, big knobby tires, a very capable engine, and it's tons of fun to drive off road. But this particular vehicle did not come with any radio at all. So today we're going to install the SPX M1 and its friend the Switch Hub. The Switch Hub is a solid state accessory controlling device that's going to control all the lights and accessories that we add to this rig. Because we're installing the M1 and the Switch Hub, we have to route some wiring through the vehicle and we have to take a few more body panels off. So we rate this overall install a 3 out of 4 pry tools on our install difficulty scale. If you're just installing the SPX M1 into your Razor using our dash kit and wiring harness, it's super easy. So we rate that install a 1 out of 4 pry tools on our install difficulty scale. Before we get started, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need in today's install. Ratchet with extension, 10mm socket, flathead screwdriver, crimpers, electrical tape, zip ties. To begin our installation, we're going to remove this upper pocket. It's just secured in by these two plastic fasteners on top, so grab a flathead screwdriver and remove the fasteners. With these two fasteners removed, just take the pocket right out. So now that we have that pocket removed, we have a spot to mount the SPX M1. Let's head over to the bench and set up some of our wiring so we can come back and snap it into place. Now we're ready to mount the SPX M1 into our Razor Dash mounting kit. The SPX M1 does come with two mounting methods. It has this U-shaped bracket, and there's also four screws that go through the front. We're gonna use both. You can use one or other. We're gonna use both methods in this installation. So thread these bolts that have the nuts on them into the back of the M1. Then we can slide that through the dash bracket. Now take our bracket and slide that over the back of the M1 and install the two locking nuts. When you feel good about the orientation of your SPX M1 and it's horizontally lined in the vehicle, you can now install the four mounting screws into the front of the M1 and then we'll install the trim ring. With the four screws in position, just snap on the trim ring. Now we can set this piece aside. We're ready to make our connections on the wiring harness. Our Razor Dash kit comes with a two wire harness. This is gonna to connect to the power distribution block in the engine bay of the Razor, and it's gonna give us an accessory and ground wire to connect to our harness. So we're gonna make the accessory and ground connections here. If you're installing an amplifier, you'll hook up your remote trigger wire. If you're installing directly to speakers, you'll use the speaker outputs. In this installation, we're going to use RCA connections, so we're not going to use these speaker leads. So we're going to clip these off so they don't short out. We're going to connect accessory and ground to our razor harness, and we're going to connect the remote wire so we can turn on our amplifier. Because we're going to be installing the switch hub, we're going to go ahead and connect some trigger wires to the SPX M1's harness so we can run those through the firewall when we install the power wire. Now that we have our power and ground hooked up and our trigger wires for the switch hub, we're ready to take this setup back over to the Razor. Now we have our wiring harness in the Razor, we're gonna pass this power harness for the M1 through the firewall. I'm also gonna take my trigger wires that we're gonna use to control the switch hub. We're gonna tape those up to this harness and pass them through at the same time. So we have our power and ground connected. We've connected our accessory turn on wire or remote wire to our amplifier. So that's gonna turn on our amplifiers. We clipped off our power speaker wires here because we're gonna be using RCA connections and amplifiers. It does have an illumination for the SPX M1. If you wanna tag this to your headlight switch, the backlight buttons on the M1 will turn on and off with the headlights of your Razor or off-road vehicle. Now we can take our power harness and our trigger wires and pass it through the grommet in the firewall. At this point of the installation, if you wanna upgrade your rig even more, we do have a USB and 3.5 millimeter aux extension cable. So we can take this factory power port right out of the Razor and install this. We can plug in our phone to charge it, we can play files from a thumb drive, or if you have a two-way communication device with a 3.5 millimeter output, plug right into here to feed into your M1. So we're just gonna take this factory power port, pop it out of the dash, disconnect the terminals, just remove the locking ring from the back of the extension cable, and then we'll pass the cables through the dash, thread this back onto the body.
It's a bit of a snug fit. You might have to use a bit of force to push that into the dash of your razor. Then thread the nut onto the back to lock it into the dash. Now we'll connect our USB extension and 3.5 millimeter aux. Because we installed a reverse camera on this razor, we're gonna connect the reverse camera feed right into the yellow video input. Now we're gonna take the M1 and set it up on the dash so we can clean up our wiring before we tuck it into the dash of the razor. Now we can just slide the SPX M1 into place and reinstall the two plastic fasteners that we removed in the beginning of the install. Well, that's all it takes to mount the SPX M1 in your Polaris razor. Now let's run up to the front, pop open the engine bay, we'll hook up the accessory and ground wires, and we'll wire up the switch hub to control all the lighting on our rig. Now we're ready to make the simple two-wire connection for the power harness for our SPX M1. Here in the engine bay of our razor, we have a constant power, we have a ground, and we have switched accessory. We want to connect the red wire to the switched accessory so the M1 turns on when the razor turns on. So now we have our two wire power harness hooked to accessory and ground. All the other accessories that we're gonna control with the switch hub, we're gonna also connect to the ground point. We're gonna run a large power wire into the main input for the switch hub, and we're also gonna connect a ground reference wire. So I'll mount the switch hub to our amp rack, and then we'll get to hooking up our accessories. If you're just installing a switch hub and not installing amplifiers in your razor, you can mount your switch hub anywhere on the firewall or anywhere inside the dash. Because we're installing these Stinger amplifiers, we made an amp rack so we have a place to mount our switch hub. So just go ahead and mount the switch hub down and then we can make our power and ground connections. We can connect our triggers and our outputs. The switch hub is configured to accept positive or negative inputs. All of the outputs from our SPX M1 are positive, so we're gonna connect those into the inputs on the positive trigger side. Now with our trigger wires hooked up, we can go ahead and take the power wires for the accessories we wanna control and connect those into the outputs of our switch hub. And that's all it takes to hook up our switch hub. Now it's ready to control all of our accessories. So we can put the hood back on the razor, hop inside, power up the M1, and check out all the features. We hope you've enjoyed this installation video of the Stinger Electronics SPX M1 into this Polaris Razor. For more videos and information about our products, check us out at stingeroffroad.com or visit our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.